A large number of President Abraham Lincoln's personal possessions have survived more than 150 years after his death. Many are on display at the Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum in Illinois, including his official presidential seal. But that and other items may be sold off to help the museum's foundation pay a significant debt. Adriana Diaz shows us some of the priceless artifacts that could go to the highest bidder. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. 1,500 artifacts that changed hands through time were eventually bought by a private collector. They finally entered the public sphere in 2007 when the museum's foundation bought the collection for $23 million. But the loan's due next year, and they're millions short. Four score and seven years ago. At the Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum in Springfield, Illinois. Conceived in liberty. Abraham Lincoln's legacy that all men are created equal is alive. It's amazing. But some of Lincoln's most prized possessions are in peril, like his hat, gloves, quill pen, and a fan that belonged to his wife Mary. They may go to auction because of a historic debt. What I sometimes say is he couldn't catch a break in the 19th century. And it seems now he can't catch a break in the 21st century. Dr. Carla Narowski runs the museum's private foundation, which is more than $9 million short on a $23 million loan used to buy Lincoln artifacts. The money is due next year. And one way to get the money fast, auction off Lincoln's belongings. May I go in? Please do. Illinois State historian Sam Wheeler let us in to so their high security vault. This is where we keep the greatest treasures that we have. Treasures that could be sold include... Wow, that's not what I was expecting. Well, what Is were that you fur? It's beaver fur. Lincoln's iconic hat. As people called out, good evening, Mr. Lincoln, he donned that cap. And that's why you think those two marks are on the yeah, brim? from well-worn fingerprints. There. Also at risk, this wanted poster from Lincoln's assassination in 1865. That's from the collection too. And the gloves that were in his pocket that ill-fated night. That's his blood right there? Yes. Oh my goodness. Here and here. I've seen people stand in front of the bloody gloves, stand in front of the stovepipe hat, and they'll weep because that's a physical connection they have with the greatest president uh, in American history. To save these items, Narowski hopes private donations pour in. What do you say to folks who say that your organization shouldn't be depending on the public to save it, to bail it out? We would encourage them to not view it as a bailout, but rather as an opportunity to give back to the man who's done so much for us. Is this part of the collection that's at risk? Yes, this is. This she says the financial crisis is partly to blame because donations declined. Somebody's got some splaining to do. But that's not enough for Tony Leone, a Lincoln buff who once sat on the board that oversaw the museum. We really don't have any serious accounting of how much they raise every year and how much they spend. Do you think this has reached the level of a scandal? Yes, I really do. Was there any mismanagement of funds that led you to this mess? Not any mismanagement of funds. If you're able to raise the money, how will you feel? Oh my God, it'll be the scream that went around the world. They have to decide whether to go to auction and which items to sell in the next few months. They've even started a GoFundMe page, which has raised more than $7,000, but that's a long way from the $9.7 million they still owe. I mean, what's the starting bid on the hat? I'll, I want in. <laughs> well, the hat is made of fur, so you might like that. But they said, you know, the hat's one item that if they sell that, maybe they could get all the money. But they really want to preserve the hat, so they, they, don't want it, they don't want it to get there. Yeah, the hat is a national treasure. Oh, there are so well, many gloves. very yes. wealthy Americans. I'm thinking that, that like prized pieces of history like this, like Bill Gates, David Rubenstein, Paul Allen. I mean, others that I'm sure would, should, would be interested in weighing in. That's what the museum hopes. They hope that some high net worth people might help them out or even smaller donations could and, help. And this isn't some cut rate president either. This is, you know, <laughs> names you know, you know. Abraham yeah, Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah. You may have right. heard of him. Right, exactly. This really... isn't the Andrew Johnson snuff box. <laughs> yeah. is... Well, keep us posted. We keep will. us posted. What happened? Although the Andrew Johnson snuff box, I'm sure, is an interesting piece of uh, historical arcana. Adriana, thank you as always.